Hey everyone, somebody asked me if I could do a conversion to teaspoons of the Master Blend set of nutrients. So that's what we're going to try to do today. So I got my scale. This is a cheap little scale from Amazon. It was like $10. So I'm going to see what each one does. So the first one I'm going to do is the Master Blend. So we're going to zero this out. We're going to use a half teaspoon, a level teaspoon, a level half teaspoon. Put that in there. So that's reading 2.8. So that's a little too much. Per gallon for tomatoes and peppers, I believe, is 10 or two, two and one for a gallon. So this is a quarter teaspoon. So that's 1.3. It's a little too little. And so we're going to do, there's a quarter. So you see it's going to vary because it depends on exactly how much you get in the scoop. And then this is an eighth, is 2.2. So it looks like a quarter teaspoon. Let me show you what I'm using here. These are just a cheap. That's a quarter teaspoon. And then this is an eighth of a teaspoon. It's going to get you at 2.2. So I think that's pretty close. Uh, I would mix that. I'm, I'm never exact anyway, so most of the time I vary and I vary up a little bit so 2.2 for a gallon of the master blend for 1838 which is this here this is the one I'm measuring out right now it looks like a quarter teaspoon and an eighth of a teaspoon get you 2.2 grams so that's pretty close I would use that in a gallon so let me clean out my I'll clean out my cup and next we'll do the calcium nitrate this should also be two grams I'm going to start with a quarter teaspoon and you can see it's, it's a pretty much level quarter teaspoon maybe a hair shy of a full quarter so that's 1.1 so that means we should be able to get away with maybe a half a teaspoon so we'll go with a half teaspoon. And I just kind of shake it off. Oops, let me show you what it looks like. And see that's 2.7. It does vary a lot because I guess it's just the way the nutrients are. It's the sizes are different. So what I'll do is go with a full quarter is 1.6 and then we'll try to add an eighth to it and there's an eighth it's 2.3 so that's a quarter teaspoon and an eighth of a teaspoon which gives you 2.3 so again I think that should be fine I would mix that And then we'll clean this out again. And now we'll do the Epsom salt. So this should be one gram. I think I'm going to start with the eighth of a teaspoon. Now that's kind of a heavy teaspoon. Kind of full. I'm going to throw that in there. And that's right on one. So that's a one eighth of a teaspoon. I know you probably can't see that on the white spoon. So that's a one eighth teaspoon and that gives you one gram exactly so then naturally for five gallons you would uh, just multiply those by five and I think you'll be really close without having to weigh them unfortunately you know it's not exact science so you can go a little higher or a little lower on the nutrients and I don't think it really is that critical 
like I said, when I mix mine, if I go to 2.3 when I'm mixing a gallon, I, I just leave it. Um, I think I've gone up as much as 2.4 uh, mixed it in a gallon. But again, then you would just multiply everything by 5 that I've showed you. And that should get you really close. And uh, then you won't have to measure using a scale. Okay, I hope that helps somebody. And uh, please like, subscribe, and please leave a comment. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.